Hello, Mr. Abraham. Okay. What a joy, huh? Every time I hold one of these, I'm like, why don't I ever keep one? They really are beautiful, beautiful watch. Really simple. What a clean design. But it's got that, that nice burliness that Seiko casework had. It's like a lot of the other dive watches made at this time. I mean, they had, there was just something about them. They were just, the cases were a little, I don't know, not flimsy isn't the right word, but they were just kind of, they didn't seem robust. They didn't seem professional. They certainly didn't have this beautiful cleanliness of design. It just, it feels like a, a special watch of that era. There's, you know, like the 6105 that came after it, there really was nothing like this at this time when this came out. This is really, this is the one. I mean, the last one I had, in fact, the last two I had were really nice, and I sold them both. Oh, well. In any case. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, hang on. Tops of the markers are a little hazy, but that absolutely can be cleaned up. Generally, actually, the loom is really good. A lot of times on these, you see, you'll see these and they have just really gnarly, gnarly corrosion that has eaten into the tops of the markers. That almost always happens. Super lucky that that, that didn't happen here. You see, we're missing a little bit of text up there and your Seiko logo is bent. So somebody was playing. I can't put back the automatic, but I can absolutely replace the bent Seiko. That's that's doable. Um, definitely can clean the dial. I can I can lessen the appearance of the of the, the sort of the darkness on this um, with really very 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 minimal work. Even just cleaning it will make it look better. I'd say the handset is hour and minute hand. I wouldn't do anything to all I would, if it were mine, because we can see from the patina out here that this is not like a replacement handset. These two hands, that one was the farthest from, you know, where things were going wrong. This one got a little bit in the end, but I don't think it's bad looking, but I can also, I'm, I can, I can lighten that a bit too. That's the only one I wonder about. I tell you, what I would probably do is, um, hmm, hang on. Let me, let me, okay, I got all my stuff done. So, there's your original sweep, the black and loom. And it's, uh, the sweep hand is one of the ones, these came in a couple different flavors. Um, the pretty subtle difference. The top on this one is a little rounded over. Not quite as sharp edged as this, but it is original. Um, I have both types here. So this is the this is the same type as what you have in there. You can actually you can actually see darn it. You can actually see those same rounded edges like the basically it's this looks like sort of a raised frame. Uh, 62 MA sweep. That's a good thing to call as anything, right? Call that the raised frame. And then we have the other type. Hold on, flat. Just square and flat as anything. Both genuine Seiko. So I would consider one of these two. So look, it's almost a perfect match for the original loom down there. Or we got this one. Whoops, I got it the wrong way. Let's get it here for you. Oh, come now. I'm trying to get this thing in the right angle. Darn it. See, I've got stage fright. Performance anxiety. There we go. And there here is the next one that is the 
the correct, it's like a cucumber frame. Uh, let's see. So there that is there. That's, that actually I think might be a slightly better match, but I don't know if it's white enough that it might stand out like crazy. I do have some other ones. This is another, uh, this is, uh, no, that's an all flat. It's a little, I think it's dirty around the, it's dirty around the center post, I think. I don't think that's metal damage. I'll have to look at it. That color's not bad either. Anyway, we have all kinds of options for this kind of stuff. I have these set aside. And... We can talk about that when you have time. Okay. That feels fine. Ooh, look at the look at the crazing on that crystal. Boy, you don't see that much with Seiko. Hmm. That's wild. Yeah, I mean, Seiko crystals don't really craze like that normally, in my experience. Huh, isn't that interesting? It's something I usually associate with the uh, Long-term exposure to, well, in Rolex, that means radiation, but I don't know. Case is nice. It's been, you know, it's got all of its swirlies and things, but all the case lines are great. Even just a basic cleaning, this thing is going to look awesome. Oh, let me, I don't know if the back's been pulled off of this thing. Oh, yeah, it's loose, actually. Loose. I didn't even have to touch it, and it moved. Well, hang on a second. Let me get uh, my finger. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I only have Sebastian's, so I'm going to have to hope that my fingers can hold up to it. But, you know, whatever. You know, it's just like anything else. You got to do what you got to do. Ooh, way too small on my thumbs. Gosh darn it. All right. Let us go. <laughs> yeah, all the oranges in place. Good. SS Japan X. Mm, it's got a couple marks in it. I see one. 73 and 973. Right up here. 173 and 973. Hmm. No, unless that's. No, that looks like 73. You see, that's why I cross my sevens. So I don't have to worry about what in the heck my terrible handwriting looks like. Okay, what do we got? We got a big fingerprint. Actually, let's go like this. Let's open this. Up a little bit here. We got us a nice big fat fingerprint. I tell you right now, I do see one thing your hairspring's roasted. 100% not working. I can see it from here. Wow. Somebody tweaked the ever loving out of that one. Okay, well, I mean, I have new balances for this one. Oh, yeah, look at the hairsprings. all oh, fuck. All oh, whack. Come on. Yeah, I, st I would have to... This hairspring's done for, unless I'm going to, you know, take the time to go in there and straighten this, but I'd have to pull the whole balance apart, and I'm not going to do that. So, at a, at a minimum... Um, so, we're at a minimum, we're talking new balance. I mean, if I had to, I would... I could just... Swap out the hairspring, um, but that's a fair amount of labor added into it too. Gosh, there's just fingerprints all over this thing. Okay. Okay, I'll check that. When I flip her back over. Your seal is original and just as hard as rock. It's the same exact seal used in the 6105. Yep, it's your original red text there. Orange text, rather. I wish Seiko still did that. I like how they look. Hey, that's pretty tight. Hmm. 
this watch has gotten a lot of manual winding. And in fact, actually, this looks like it, is that machined out? Huh, hang on just one second. So we got our 6200 parts. Let's see what we can see. Hey, that's not supposed to be in there. Um, is that machined out? Did I, in fact, I have that one right there in the winder. Oh, no, you know what? Talking out of my butt. Looks exactly the same as this one. Looks no plating on the inside. Up there so that's correct that's why we don't think we know everything because we usually don't i need to go through that one okay i'm taking off these tiny thumb ones the world's just gonna have to deal with it well i'd love to get it running but i, I mean i, I kind of can't Wow. I'm only doing this on the understanding with everybody that I know that this balance is destroyed. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Yeah, look, you're all over the place. Poor thing. Oh, wow, the stud's broken? Uh, it no matter. I mean, that gets into New Balance territory anyway. It's dusty in there. It doesn't look bad. Um, let's pull. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the mainspring barrel feels so nice and tight. It's because it's, ouch, full power. Why won't this pull? Oh, that's your original crown there. Somebody bonked it, but the rest of it's there. That can totally be rebuilt. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Spencer Klein. Put this here for now. Check our time setting. This used to be kind of a. Come on. Oh, well. It ain't got no lubrication. Okay, there we go. And opinion feels it's gripping nicely uh and if the hands are advancing the keyless works are in, in adjustment that's good yeah oh gosh it's a good thing this thing isn't running look at the hour and the minute hand they're touching if this thing was if this thing was uh running those hands would be busy scoring over each other there's a few marks on it, not many. Yeah, okay. Because I don't want to do it anymore. I was curious to see how it was going to go, you know, ticking it over, but I'm sure it ticks over. It's not a problem. Not, not a problem. Keyless, work, keyless works feel good. Let's get a closer look at this dial. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, pretty, huh? You know, missing text on the dial or the the bad bent Seiko, that doesn't matter. Every, the, well, for me anyway, the only thing that matters is the condition of the loom, but especially the condition of the top of the markers. It, it can't be replaced, it can't be repaired. 
There's no adequate replacement made anywhere. There aren't even dials that are similar to it enough to be used. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dial. So that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty good. I see we definitely have some delamination going on. Your top clear coat is popping up right there. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'll need to stabilize that top layer. I'll thin some uh, thin some um, crystal clear adhesive uh, and, um, lacquer in and run it through into there and then get it to sit down. Looks like this one marker has a dark stain on it. Is that down to the metal? Come on. It might just be a stain, but I'm not sure. I mean, the rest of the markers look awesome. It's that green Diny Loom, which everybody knows and loves, as every school child knows. Yeah. All right, well, I'm not going to play with that right now. I'd say overall, aside from the roast, gosh darn it, where is my movement holder? I want it. Ah. No, it was behind something. Let's try this out. I am gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna hork I'm going to get a 6200 balance and I'm going to swap out the whole balance arm and everything. It's just a test. Test. I just want to test it. Um, I'm also going to correct those hands real quick so I don't have to worry about them hitting each other. I'll be right back. Okay, so see the nice orange splooch on there? I put that there to remember. So I got us. There's a, there's a balance. Um, rather than building that now, uh, just to test this, I'm going to steal a complete balance from one of my own 6217s. Complete balance and balance cock and everything. And so I'll be right back. Just want to see how she goes. Okay, so I got the old balance off. You can you complete balance and everything. And you can see the, the lovely hairspring. And you got a big old cranked over thing there. But... So I got something else here for you. This is unrestored, so I'm not doing anything like weird and subversive, like putting a perfectly clean balance into an unserviced watch. It should be good, but it's definitely out of an original unserviced watch. Do I not have it right? Hang on a second. I'm looking at it. Uh, I just, it occurred to me I needed to, um, uh, your mainspring feels, it's, I can feel it going thunk, 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 like it's like, uh, I don't know, that feels funky. And I can see, let's see if we got us. Yeah, your yeah, mainspring really feels weird. It's like going, you can feel it getting, you know, tighter and looser and tighter and looser. I got one, not the other. I don't think it's gonna be real happy about running, but it should go. I wonder why somebody put a black stripe across that. That's paint. Somebody infilled with that with paint. I wonder why. I mean, they made a point of it. Huh. 
Come on, come on. I wonder how long it's been since this uh, watch was alive. I did change the spacing on the hands, by the way. And again, this is my complete balance and stuff. Your balance bridge with a new um, balance complete is what is going to happen. Come now, Spencer. You wouldn't think I did this for a living. Hey, don't laugh at me. I'm also wondering if they can hear the dog snoring. They might. Folks, if you listen real careful, you can hear the dog snoring. I don't know, when we were in, when I was uh, in Florida with Ryan, uh, his dog was snoring away in the background and you could hear the whole, you could hear it the whole time. Spencer, Spencer, Spencer. Okay, so uh, that was actually kind of, um, well, it was illustrative uh, because I could never get it running. Uh, and the reason I couldn't get it running is because the, f the pinion of the fourth wheel, the fourth wheel is immobile. So we have a lot of this moisture or whatever did this, it got in here and it wicked down. So you're going to have potentially fourth wheel with pinion, potentially center wheel, potentially cannon pinion. Uh, depending on, on, on what I find under there, but it does not want to, it doesn't want to take over. It might be relatively minor, might be serious. I'm not sure. So, but I will tell you, so I think though, overall, the things that I'm thinking that I see is we've got, uh, we got a bad balance, um, and we, we might have some stuff in the front end. And we're going to have some time for cleaning and dial restoration. Uh, I can't do anything about that automatic. I definitely can replace that Seiko. We do have replacement hands, which you know. This can be cleaned up. Uh, I want to firm things down so we don't lose anymore. Um, but it'll clean up fine. These are forgiving movements. They're great watches. Let me put this back together and I'll just recap and be done. Okay, uh, any last thoughts? There's no loom in this pip, by the way. Um, I could, I don't know, the, the surface of the thing is pretty eaten, though. The way these were is they just filled these things flush. Um, I mean, I can mimic this green dainy, dainy loom and try to fill this. Me, I, I'd probably leave it alone, but if you want me to think about that, I'll do it. Just a beautiful case back, beautiful case design. Yeah, so I think we might have some rust damage. Uh, I think it's probably gonna be confined mostly to the front end. It could potentially lead to one or all of fourth wheel, center wheel, cannon pinion, uh, other things I'm not aware of. Oh, and it also feels like the mainspring, like there's something really wrong in there. So we may be looking at a mainspring and if it ate the mainspring barrel, that's gonna be something else. But I won't know until I see. It's a nice watch. Any case, you tell me what questions you've got. And uh, when you're ready to talk about it, I can send you uh, an estimate and we can go from there. And, uh, but I think it's, I don't see anything beyond what I've said. Okay. Thank you so much.